What do you think? Right. Uh, let, let me get to the marks tomorrow because uh, believe me, as I'm talking to you now, my hand is shaking. My hand, my hand is shaking. It's not. It's very difficult to for me to handle this, but I, I need to. I don't know. I don't know what to say. How are you, my friend? You are a Muslim. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so what do why, you want? What do you want to say to us? Why are, you, why are you lying about the Holy Prophet? Why? Like, like what? What I said? You said uh, uh, he, he rape women. He, he do he does this. He does that. You know, he, you said he he, he rape a lot of women. He, he did this. He did that. You are lying about him. Okay. How how you know I'm lying? I believe you're lying. Okay. What if I show What if I show reference? He, he is the best of mankind. No problem. What if I show proof so, from your books? You know all this. You are hold on, hold on. What if, if I show on, my friend, my friend? In Nigeria, if you do this, they, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be in big trouble. My friend, gonna, if I go to Nigeria, Nigeria will be in big trouble, not me. I'm asking you. What if I show you a reference from your books that Muhammad he did rape women? Uh, what book in the Quran or where? In the Hadith. Uh, let Let me see. Okay, but if I show you what you will do, before I show you. Uh, if you If you show me, then I'm gonna respect you. And that's it. I, I'm gonna respect that at least you said the truth, right? But you don't just stay on the TV and uh, start uh, insulting. You are calling me and saying to me the prophet did not rape. So what if the prophet he raped? What you will do? I will. I do just show me. Show me. Let me see. You no, know, I will show you. I promise you. What you will do if I show you? This is the question. Are you just saying show me and then I respect no, what I get no, from that? It's not a matter of being like you need evidence, right? You need evidence. For no problem, evidence. my friend, my friend. I know. Okay, so now so, I will, I will put the, I, I will put the evidence. To all our Islamic books, there is no way you're gonna say the only problem. No problem. Right. But if there is, what you will do? So what, what do you want? What do you want me to say? Uh, I don't you know. Are you going to stay? Is. Are you going to stay as a Muslim if Muhammad is, de is he did that? And then I, then I'll start questioning. I'll start questioning. It's not. Oh, you will uh, start questioning. Yeah, I'll start questioning. So okay. I want to see. I want to see that the Islamic book said this is not matter of uh, maybe you are talking about another uh, a book invented by the Christians. You know, you mm -hmm. people are just something different. I don't know. All right. But your question will lead you into what? You you think you will leave Islam if I wait for you? Please, you show me. Let me see something All first. Right. Do you know Arabic, or I have to find it to you in English? You have to find it to me in English. All right. Most Nigerians don't speak uh, Arabic. This is the book of Asir al Nabawiya, verse number two. Do you see my screen? Yeah, I can. I can see, but it's too it's too large on my screen. You, okay. Is there any way you can send it to me too? I will send it to you. No problem. Here we go. Let me let me send you a link. Give me a second. Okay, I gave you the link. Use Google Translation, and now I'm going to use Google Translation. Translate to Google. You can translate it from your place. Let me see. Yeah, you can use Google Translate in your side. Just you open it yeah, in, in Google Browser. This, this okay. one is for later. This one yeah. is for later. So Muhammad, he just killed the Jews. You know? What? Uh, which Jews were that? Was it the Banu? Banu Kuraida. Yeah. And now he took Sophia. And the Muslim, they claim that now she's his wife. But how she's wife? Listen carefully. He just took her from her husband. He just took her from her husband. He killed her husband. Read carefully with me. Abu Ayyub was in the front of the tent. Muhammad, he just killed her family half hour ago. So when Muhammad, he went out in the morning from his tent, he said to him, what's wrong with you, Abu Ayyub? He said, oh, Messenger of Allah, I feared for you from this woman. And she was a woman who you killed her father and her husband and her people. Do you see it? Hmm. Did he marry her? Or he just took her from her husband? He, he just killed her husband. I know, but uh, according to uh, our sheikhs, what they told us about this situation was... was was that uh, this uh, that he married out of pity? After what? Out of pity, out of pity that the the parents they gang up against the prophet. What parents? He just killed her husband. She is not a kid. It says in the front of you, you killed her father. Even he killed even her brothers. He killed her people. You killed her husband. And not only that, she is she is a bride. She is a bride. She just get married. He killed her. He killed her family. He raped her, and in the same night he just took her. And you know, according to Islam, you have to wait. Three months. It says in front of you, you her to be sure that the woman she is not carrying a child from the previous man, correct? So not only but, hearing I'm, her, but, uh, but please, I'm I'm trying to understand something. I, like, is there anywhere they said uh, he had he had sex with the with 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 her immediately? This is the, he, he did not go home yet. He just he attacked her attack her town. He took the he took her. He is in the tent.
Don't you see it's a tent? Muhammad, don't live in a tent. Yeah. Okay. They are. He stayed, they are, they he are, stayed there with her. Huh? He stayed there because there's this there's this hadith that I read one time. I don't know if it is a uh, Muslim or Sahih Bukhari. They said the Prophet stayed with her for three days. It's not like stayed with her for three days. It doesn't make a difference if it's three days or three hours. He said stayed. Stayed is different from sleeping with somebody. He said stayed with her for three days. Why? Why he is staying with her? You know, is, are you allowed in Islam to have a woman in your bed, uh, and she is not your wife? No. And where where it says he stayed with her? Can you show me? What stayed with Sorry, her? I... What do you mean stayed with her? So your prophet, he took women against their will. You said to me, Sean, we were the prophet here, right? Yeah. Do you think a woman, you just killed her father, her parents, her family, her tribe, all of them. Do you think a woman, she will be yeah, happy to sleep with the man? The story was that they gang up against the holy prophet. They gang up, gang up against him. He that what? was what happened. He can what? Because I know the, the husband of Sophia was uh, Kinana. Uh -huh. Kinana. Exactly. The guy, they okay. gang up, they gang up against the holy he's, prophet. He's what? He's what? I said they ganked up against the Holy Prophet. So what is against? We are talking. You see, you're asking me. Uh, all of them they are against him. I am against him. Is that giving you a reason to read my wife? If I have a wife. All right, please. I, I'm, let me just try to check this thing because I saw this. Um... Was Sophia this woman? Was she happy for what Muhammad okay. did? Okay, please. Can you check uh, Sahih Al Bukhari, forty-two twelve? The book of Al Marazi. Okay, what about it? Yeah, he said the the the, the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It says he slept with her. Stayed, stayed with. No, Sophia it says it says he slept. No, it stayed. says he slept with her. No, it says stayed. My friend, no, it says wa a hatta a rasabiha. In Arabic. Uh huh. Ah. Here we go. So, are you telling me that this translation is wrong? What the translation saying? No, he said uh, the only prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It says, hold, read, read, read me, read, read with me. This is your translation. Read your translation. The prophet stayed with Safiya, bin to Huyay, for three days in the way to Khaybar, where he consummated his marriage with her. There's no marriage. He left her. Where he did it? In the way. This is the hate you gave me. This is your choice, correct? So where he slept with her? In the way. He, but this sound, this sound like the marriage is on already. He said where he con consummated his marriage. My friend, what family. marriage? You just took her against her will. You killed her husband. You killed her family. And now you are called marriage. <laughs> and not only that, the women she was like when when this happened, the women she was putting dirt and shit in her head. She was screaming, and even Muhammad he called him shaitan. He said, "Keep this shaitan away from me." Don't you know? Hmm. Have you ever heard of a book? It's called Ibn Kathir. Yeah, I, I know Ibn Kathir. I know Ibn Kathir. Okay. What What Ibn Kathir you say about the story? Do you know? No, I never checked about it because this is not. Uh, it's only these. Uh, when when the, the the situation between him and and and, and Zaid happened. This is different from Zaid. And what about Zaid? Zaid is the same. Zaid is the same. But the difference is Zaid is a man. He have no choice. Muhammad, because he cannot have kids. His wife she forced him to adopt a son. And why he and then he he married her to a woman he like so he can have access to the house. What do you think if I go to visit my oh, son? How can you say how can you say the prophet cannot have kids? Why do why did you say that? He can have about, kids. What about uh, Fatima is the daughter of Muhammad? Are you going to go and wash naked in the front of your daughter? Where did that happen? What if I show you? When she was when she was young, maybe like a baby or what baby? She was holding the curtain for him. Baby. You wanna you wanna duct tape what happened to Muhammad baby now? No, no, I said it, it might be when a little child, right? Maybe at three years old or something. Any parent can see. Okay, so you are now saying to me, the prophet, he was taking a shower, naked, and his daughter, which is a three years old, she was holding a curtain around him. So how old was she? Hmm? How old was she? I don't know. You tell me. Because you know why? Everything um, uh, the prophet wasalam, did in his time, everything was... Like he didn't do anything from his from his own will. He did it by the will of Allah. My friend, my friend, what will of Allah? What you see? You are trying now to duct tape again. Here we go. This is your prophet. Let me find the hadith in English. If this is his daughter, there's no way a man he will expose his gentile in front of his daughter. Obviously, your prophet was having sex with Fatima too, the daughter of Khadija. And this is the hadith in front of you. You said to me maybe she was three years old. What three years old? A three years old can hold the curtain to cover the, the man who is a uh, 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 is, is a showering. Do you see the hadith? I went to the Messenger of Allah during the year of conquest 
and I found him performing ghusl. He's taking a shower. While Fatima was screening him with a, a garment. Please, what is what Adit is this one? What Adit is this one? Because this, I know there are a lot of uh, false Adit. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. Okay, let me see. Let me see. I, it's I in the know. front of you. Okay. Because, I, okay, can you send me the reference, please? No problem. I will send you the, the link. I have all the reference for it, not only one hadith. Here we go. I just searched for the hadith in the website and it gave me all the links. Here we go. All of them those are Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. At Tamidi. Jami at Tamidi. Okay. No, this is Sahih Muslim too. If you find, scroll down, you will find Sahih Muslim. Scroll down, you will see Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. Do you take bath with your daughter naked? Uh, see, okay. Uh, what I'm saying is that you see, if you have a um, a two year old or a three year old, if there's nothing bad in. My friend, she is screening him, screening him. Two years old, she can't cover even your knee. How she is uh, a screening him, and she is two years old. And Fatima, she was two years old in the time of the quince, quince when he, when he occupied Mecca. <laughs> His wife, she is dead long time ago. Isn't she the daughter of Khadija? Can you give me one good thing about Muhammad? I don't want to show you bad things. No, he he, he, he was a good man. Give, okay, give me, give me one, give me one good thing. Okay, give me one good. Give me. You have a lot of people. No, get, okay, give me how how he helped a lot of people. Okay, did he help? Did he help his son? Did he help his son? His own son. Uh, well, actually, he didn't have any living son. Like it's only this uh, Zaid. See, exactly. I told you he cannot have kids. You said to me he had daughters. He cannot have kids. So listen, listen. Did he help his son by taking the wife from the son? He didn't take the wife. The, the son said, oh, I don't need of... Uh, I... No. Read the verse with me. Here we go. I will, I will show it to you on the screen. Allah told him, Muhammad, according to the verse, Muhammad being a hypocrite, the man he came to him after he heard his wife saying that your father was here and he flirted with me. And the hadith he flirt, says, he flirt with, with he, he flirted with her, with Zainab. Oh. Yeah. So he did not ask to leave her until he heard the news, obviously, that his father is sleeping with his wife. What do you say? If a man... Is this, is this uh, the Quran or what? This is the Quran in front of you now, chapter 33, verse number 37. And imagine Muhammad, he made a chapter claiming that Allah told him, why you don't tell the man what Allah, he told you that, you know, what is in your heart, you want her. So Allah is in the support of... Uh... Yeah, he's in support of fornication, taking the wife from the husband for a man he claimed to be a prophet and the women already married. He have something in his heart for her and she is what? She is now married. Surah Al-Azab, right? Mm -hmm. Because I know I know that uh, the uh, Allah made love for, for Muhammad to have some women from the cause. Ah. But I don't know if... Uh, See, okay, okay hold on, hold on, hold on. Why Allah want to make an offer for him to take the wife of his son? What does that mean? Did he take the wife of this of his son or the son said, oh, I don't need it anymore? No, he took her. Yeah. Let, ah. let me show you the difference. Here we go. Uh, you know, I don't say things. Remember, you're talking to Christian Prince. This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. Look at the screen. Value number 14, page number 190. And here it says, and I will give you the link so you can open it from your side and you can use Google Translation. Open it in Google Browser. And you will see that Muhammad, he came to the women when the husband, he was not there. And he said to her, so he saw Zainab, and I will use English translation in a second. فَأَبْصَرَ زَيْنَبَ قَائِمَ كَانَتْ بَيْضَاءٌ جَمِيلَ جَسِيمَ مِنْ أَتَمِّ نِسَاءِ قُرَيْشِ فَهَوِيهَا So he saw Zainab standing, and she was white, very white, and she is big, because the Arab, they like, you know, big, big size women. In the world today, we use it fat. Uh, and she was from the most beautiful women of Quraysh. Fahawiha, so he failed on her. He failed. He want her. You have lost. Hawa, I mean lost. Waqal, subhanallahi muqallibul qulu. Praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. So He said, praise be to Allah. Yes. Fasami'at Zainab with tasbiha. So Zainab, she heard what he said. Praising Allah for liking her. You have lost. So she told her husband, Zaid. Fafatina Zaid. So Zaid, he got it. Oh boy, they are sleeping together. So he came now. Now he came to Muhammad, says to him, please let me divorce her father. 
She hurt me. She is very arrogant. She have a very bad tongue. What, uh, what book is this? Is it a This is Al-Qurtubi. Let me use Google Translation. Al-Qurtubi. Okay. Let me use Google Translation. I give you the link. Interpretation right. of Al-Qurtubi. Very number 14, page number 190. All right? Yeah. Okay. Now we go. <laughs> and this is Google Translation. Zayd never complained about his wife ever before. But when he heard that the wife and the father, they are doing monkey business together, he came to Muhammad and he slandered Zainab, saying, she have a bad mouth. She's arrogant. I don't like her. Please, let me divorce her. And what the hypocrite Muhammad he did? A second ago, he was there flirting with the wife. And now he's saying, to him, no, no, man, keep, keep your wife. Keep your wife. Do you see it? This is your books. This is not a book written by a Christian prince, or even though I wrote many books, but this is not my book. This is your book. Those are your scholars, and we can show it to you from Bibi Kathir. I can show it from everywhere. So what do you think about the father? He come to the house of the son, and he flirt with the wife when the wife, she is married in the house of the son. And you are saying to me, Muhammad is a good man. I say he's a very wicked man. What say you? I don't don't disrespect him. Uh, just just um, let's just have this and uh, the conversation you know i don't care if you like it or not my friend i'm here to say the truth i'm not here to sugarcoat things he is a wicked man you like it you don't like it you can hang up you can you can run away from the truth I'm, i did not say one word is not in front of you on the screen and now you are saying to me please don't disrespect what kind of a man he come to the house when the son is not there and he flirt with the wife when she is married is that the ethic you muslim you claim that religion teaching you and not only that the hadith says that when muhammad he, after he said that, Zainab, she said, Allah, he made a miracle. Each time her husband, he tried to have sex with her, Zaid. Allah, he made his penis swell. Ah, uh, when, uh, uh, where, which? Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. The miracle of Allah. The husband, he want to have sex with the wife. And Allah, he made the penis of the husband? <laughs> Look at this. The same tafsir, but now I will show it to you from the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Al-Qurtubi. Yeah. All right. And now we will search for the word Tawarrama, which means swell. His penis is swell. Here we go. Let me see. According to the story, according to the narration, and Zaidan tawarrama dalika minhu hina arada an yaqrubuha. She say here that Zainab she said that Zaid he tried to come to bed to do boom boom to her. And then Zainab she said, but he could not do it. And he could not do it except that Allah he did not allow him to do it. And then the narration continues saying, and some of the story says that Zaid, when he tried to have sex with his wife after the Prophet flirted with his wife, his penis is swelled. And now let us use Google Translation. Hmm? So this is the same tafsir I could, I could be? Huh? This is al Qurtubi, yeah. This is al Qurtubi. This is official government website of Saudi Arabia. Let me give you the link. And you can use Google Translation. And you will see how Allah he made the husband penis swell. Penis so swell. the husband who is lawfully married to this woman, Allah make his his penis his, his penis swell. So this is the same and the the man who is not the husband, Allah he let his penis go inside her. And he was always called by everybody Zaid ibn Muhammad. So Muhammad even he stand in the street. He says from now on, remember. Uh, uh, Zaid is from me and I am from Zaid. He is my son. What do you think? Uh, but I, I, the way, according to the way uh, I, our Sheikh explained the situation, he said, oh, they, it was handed over peacefully. And there was no Who cares about peacefully? I mean, what peacefully? The guy, he is, uh, he is nobody. He will kill him. Muhammad, yeah, because the guy okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if, wife, uh, a, a gang, a, the biggest gang who have a big army coming to your house and he like your wife and you are telling me peacefully. Because you know what's wondering me? Because as at this time, he had, he had about uh, maybe five wives or six wives. So, uh, My friend, why are you watching the topic? Do you approve a man coming to the house of somebody else? Even he no. is not... A, huh? 
No, no, it doesn't make. Uh... Okay, so what we what we call this? How we describe it? But uh, is is there is there anything like in the Quran that is backing up all these uh, that backs up all these uh, hadiths and? Tafsir? Why, why are you trying to to avoid my no, question? Because uh, so what do you know, think, Muhammad? Muhammad of... flirting with the married women in the house of the husband who is considered by him. Not people saying rumors. He is the one who shout. This is my son. What do you think of a man? He do such a no, thing. Be honest true, with me. It's not a good thing. If it is true, if it's true, it's not a good thing. I, 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 this is not an answer. What good thing? Is, is is he a bad person or a good person? No, if it's true, is uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know what to say because I don't want to say something negative. What do you mean you cannot say something negative? You just say this is not good. So what we call that? Huh? It's uh, it's if if it's true, right? Uh, it's it's not a it's not a good thing for for a prophet to do. What does that mean? Why you don't want to tell me what uh, the real description? He's a wicked man. Is that a behave a good man or a wicked man? If it's true, that's uh, that's a, that's, a, that's a wicked person. You know? He's a wicked person. Thank you. A wicked person who go to the husband's house when the wife is alone, and the reason he is inside the house why? Because he is the father. Women, she will not allow a strange man to enter her house when she's alone. No, you know what's 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 because uh, Allah is putting uh, is interfering in this situation. That's that's what is that's what baffles me. You know what? Whatever. So I am a prophet now. I can have sex with uh, women, married women. Yeah, I they can know, take a wife from you. So of that. The, the privilege of all cult leader is the same. He want your women, literally, and your money, and he want the authority, the power. And Muhammad, he worked for all. Did Muhammad, he made a chapter in the Quran speaking about his sexual privilege only. Is that true? Where? where? Well. Sexual privilege. Actually, where? I think in the same page we are reading, there is 16. Privilege. In the same page, okay, give it to Muhammad. Privilege? Let me see. Let me see. Sixteen what? privilege. More than half of them is about sex. Can he do you, not need to pay. He do not you... need to pay. It's in the same page I gave you. Al Qurtubi, the last one. Use okay. Google Translation. Okay. Well, I... You will see the privilege number six, number eight, number seven, number ten, number eleven. Because it's later after this uh, after this conversation, I'm going to check everything. So that's why I want to six. What, why this prophet he have special privilege about money and sex what they have to do is it isn't it muhammad a muslim or he's above islam he's not above this he's just I, I no he's above a muslim he can have only four wives a muslim he should not enter a house when the the the, the, the man is not there a muslim he need witnesses for marriage muhammad uh, he did not he don't need witnesses muhammad he can have sexual intercourse without uh, he, any witnesses he can have wives it doesn't matter what about uh sulaiman ali salam how many wives does he have? Well, Suleiman, he, he, so, he was he, he, my friend. Wife, my friend, Suleiman, Suleiman, he was acting as a wicked man. It's not God who told him to go and have uh, those women. This is your friend. Here, Muhammad is claiming that Allah is the one who gave him permission. Suleiman was acting as a pervert king, and the Bible condemned him. There's a huge difference between somebody he repent and he asked for forgiveness for all the sin he did. And somebody he glor you know he is glorified for his sin. This is what the Muslim to do. Read with me. All the privilege Muhammad he have yeah. privilege only for him. He don't even need to pay dowry for women. Every Muslim have to pay dowry. Muhammad do not need to pay dowry. Every Muslim need witnesses. Ah. Muhammad do not need witnesses. Every Muslim he cannot have more than four wives. Muhammad he can have unlimited numbers of wives. Every Muslim he have. To, it's all about sex. Look, all of those privileges about sex. Privilege after privilege after privilege. Why God he gave a privilege for the penis of Muhammad? And then if you go to the Quran, what you will find? You will find the same garbage. The Quran said, it's made lawful for you the following. Who's left? And any believing woman, she can offer herself to the Prophet as a privilege. Why? Any what the, what this? Offer. Listen, listen, my, my friend, your, your name is what? Kazim. Kazim, Kazim. Listen, what offering women offering themselves to me have to do with religion, with God? Where is that? Where is that? In the Quran. Don't you know? 
Let me see. Like I, I know, I know that they said he can marry from the cousin and from the mother. This uh, chapter thirty-three, the same chapter about Zainab. Zainab, Zainab, Zainab. The same chapter about Zainab, verse number fifty. All those women are lawful for Muhammad. Who nobody left. Muhammad is going to have every woman in the world, and not only that. And all those are privileged for you only. I, I gotta go to the mocks tomorrow to 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 to, to challenge all, all this. I, I have a better idea. Why why you don't call the sheikh right now? Let him join us. No, I cannot. I cannot call why, him. No. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I cannot call no, him. No, no, that would be better because you see, I want you to hear how your sheikh he cannot answer. I want you to choose the best sheikh in town, or maybe all of them they are invited, and you will see they cannot answer. Muhammad is a pervert. You see all. False leaders who claim that sent by God doesn't matter. Even there's a there's a Christian man like that. There's a Christian priest. They are, you know, pervert. They are false Christians used by Satan. So they sleep with women claiming that they are men of God. And your prophet is the same. Privilege. This is privilege for him. And now he is making it. But the different is that if a Christian man he used his own let's say influence to fool some women, he cannot claim he cannot claim that God told them. People will laugh at him. Here, your prophet is claiming that God gave him those privilege. Only for him, about sex and money. So, uh, please, uh, uh, CP, I want to ask one question. Uh, uh, is Aisha aware of? Uh, because you know, seventy-five percent of the hadiths was uh, was narrated by Aisha. Was she aware of all these? Was she what? Was she aware of all these um, women giving themselves? Sure, to... sure, sure. You know, even Aisha, she said, like, uh, uh, don't the women feel ashamed to offer herself? Huh. She said she was jealous. She was jealous, so she said in the front of Muhammad, isn't it a woman? Because women they are coming and offering themselves Muhammad to have sex with them. Let me find it for you. Here we go. Aisha, she said, I felt jealous of women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger. Because now the cult leader, he convinced those women that this is what Allah wants. You offer yourself I sleep with you and not only that he said in different hadith that a woman any woman he Muhammad he slept with her or marry her she will enter heaven ah. so, now, so now those women they want to go to heaven and not only that they will have a free retirement because the second Muhammad he sleep with you you have a free food free shelter protection for lifetime you are the women of Muhammad Do you see it? Aisha well, somebody was typing on the in the chat that Aisha was six years old. What six years? She 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 was eighteen, not six years old. What six years old is? Oh yeah, she was eighteen. But my friend Aisha, she was eighteen when Muhammad died. Looked like your prophet. He married her after he died. How? Oh. Well, you are the one saying to me that the prophet he married Aisha when she was eighteen, but she was eighteen when he died. She was seventeen, going eighteen, not eighteen. So according to you, your prophet he married Aisha after he died. Because you are saying she was 18. Oh, yeah, she was 18. Isn't it Aisha? So she said, you, you, Do you have ref reference for that? To, how can she be six years old? How can somebody be? Here we go. This is your reference in front of you. It says exactly how many years she lived with him. So she he married her at the age of six. He had full intercourse before that. He was fondling her at the age of nine. And she did live with him nine years. So what the total? What? What the total? Six year he married her. I'm with you. She lived with him. She lived with him. Nine uh, years. Six plus nine. What the number? Prophet married her when she was. Six what, what, listen, listen. Six plus nine. What the number? Huh. That's fifteen. Okay. So Muhammad, when uh, 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 he died, uh, she was not even seventeen. She was fifteen. What uh, Adit is this one? This is Al-Bukhari. This is uh, very authentic. And here it says in the corner, until his death. You see it? I.E. Till his death. Uh, I believe we, because of this is uh, in Sahih Al-Bukhari. This is... Uh, okay, so, but this is a pervert. This is a pervert behavior. This is uh, a pervert. It's, uh, it doesn't sound good to me. It doesn't. So why you don't leave Islam, my friend? I have to make so many research, so many research because I have to go to the mosque tomorrow. 
Okay. Why, why, what about, I, I'm not going to ask you now to say you are out of Islam or you think about it, but I want you at the same time, when you go to the mosque, tell them that there's a man, he challenged all of you together to prove him wrong. Tell them what happened. Tell them I could not answer him. Who is of you want to be the lion of Allah to join in a conversation? You can give them my sky, feel free, invite them all and call him. What do you think? Uh, let, let me get to the marks tomorrow because uh, you believe me as I'm talking to you now my hand is shaking my hand, my hand is shaking it's not it's very difficult to for me to handle this but I, I need to I don't know I don't know what to say well I you know for me I, what I see that your hand is shaking because the truth hurt and you are a good man you are trying to uh, you know to defend uh, but your heart you know cannot take it so uh, that's why I'm saying to you you better leave Islam sooner or later because this is a very, very bad cult. It's extremely, extremely bad cult. And this is why, you know, you, you see how much confident I am. I told you just call right now, you're shake. Right now. Not even tomorrow. We are alive. We are alive. No matter, I have to let them know that oh, somebody wants to talk to them. All right. not just so let them. us do this. Next time I go live, you call me and update me what happened. What do you think? Yeah, definitely I'll get back to you. All right. And invite, that. please, anyone he think he can refute me. But I, I want you to tell me to do something. Don't tell them Christian Prince. Just tell them a Christian guy. I don't want you to lie, you know. Mm. But just don't tell them Christian Prince because the second they knew, they will take a hike. Just tell them there's a guy, his name is a Christian, or he's a Christian, and he is debating me. I do not know what to answer. Who want to join us in a conversation? Right. After, they, after they call, they will find out it's me. And then it's going to be too late and a very embarrassment if they decide right. to run away. All, All right, right, my friend. Thank All you right, for thank calling. You so much. Thank and you we so pray much. for you to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. Thank you, Kasim. Or Kasim. Thank you. Take care.